Hey gents, for today's video, I'm going to discuss an article written by a woman in which she basically complains and points out how men are now overreacting to the fact that we're starting to avoid women in the workplace and other situations as a result of the MGTOW movement, and she claims that they're basically being punished as a result. According to the article's title, Men Now Shun Women at Work, Another Proof We're Being Penalized for MGTOW. She says that we men seem to be following Mike Pence's example, according to recent studies. It's possible that women are upset that MGTOW ever took place. As this article notes, Mike Pence appears to be quite a trendsetter. Famously, the Vice President of the United States won't eat dinner by himself, with any woman who isn't his wife, and right now it seems like working men all over corporate America are imitating him. They take this action to safeguard our assets. According to a recent study that will appear in the journal Organizational Dynamics, men are now noticeably less likely to interact with their female coworkers as a result of the MGTOW movement. The study found that 24% of men shun one-on-one -on -one conversations with female coworkers. A third or more of men say they would be afraid to be alone with a woman. Given the state of affairs, you are essentially guilty and less proven innocent. God forbid there be any sort of charge, even if it's only an overreaction. According to the study, 21% of men would be hesitant to employ women for a position that calls for personal contact, such as business travel. 90% of men will hesitate to hire a beautiful woman. Researchers who asked the same questions in early 2018, right before MGTOW was in full swing, collected data on workers across a wide range of industries in early 2019, and depressingly, things appear to have gotten worse than in 2018. For instance, in 2019, 15% of men, compared to 21% of men, indicated they would be less likely to recruit women for occupations requiring close interpersonal relationships with women. Personally, I don't blame the men, that's just the way things have become. Men can see what has transpired, therefore they are protecting themselves. They don't want to lose their job as a result of an overreaction, or being held responsible for something they didn't do. We no longer find it to be worthwhile. Unfortunately, that is the situation. Please absolve us. It says here in the article that not just men are terrified of women, therefore we're just protecting ourselves. Interestingly enough, Women also seem to be hiring women. More than 10% of men and women who participated in the 2018 study predicted that they would be less likely than before to recruit attractive women. The results for women for 2019 are not yet available. It also states here, Internalized misogyny is definitely on the rise. In MGTOW, there has been a lot of discussion concerning gray areas. For men, all of this harassment nonsense is quite challenging. We are informed because no one today knows what harassment is, some persons may be accused of harassment, even if they are merely kidding around with a coworker. All of it depends on the individual. Again though, men might say seemingly innocent things without intending to offend, and the next thing you know, they're being dragged into HR and threatened with termination. In case she perceives it as harassment, the article claims many men are hesitant to even shake a woman's hand, that avoiding contact altogether is much better. The data completely refutes the claim that men are unsure of what constitutes improper behavior which is what makes it so intriguing. First and foremost, researchers examined 19 behaviors to get people to characterize something as harassment or not, for example, texting amorous jokes to a subordinate. Basically, all genders had the same definition of what harassment was. Additionally, it states in quotes that the majority of women and men are aware of what harassment is. According to Lene Atwater, a professor at the University of Houston and one of the study's authors, is mainly inaccurate that men don't realize their behavior is inappropriate and that women make a big deal out of small things. Women are defining harassment and are, if anything, being more forgiving. The majority of men are fully aware of the distinction between a friendly hug and a creepy hug. They are fully aware of what does and does not qualify as harassment, which begs the question of why so many men are reluctant to speak to women at work. Many men, in my opinion, should be aware of the distinction between a friendly hug and a creepy hug. However, we're unfortunately guilty until proven innocent at this moment. And regrettably, things won't get better before they get worse. However, I'm talking about this piece to understand where things are headed from this woman's perspective. But you can't make women happy. According to her, many men are more likely to be outraged that anything needs to happen to them than they are terrified of being accused of anything. They're furious, and they forced us to deal with them, questioning the power relations that they normally took for granted. They are also punishing women who choose not to engage with them. This is untrue. Simply put, we men don't want to take any chances with being fired or being sued. I believe that the MGTOW backlash has been highlighted in the Harvard Business Review article. 
which provides a sneak peek at the study's results for 2019. You hear that phrase a lot, and all of a sudden, that framing implies that MGTOW went too far. The response was inevitable. It is a further instance of victim blaming. Another tactic is to subtly remind women of their station. Whatever you do in life, there will inevitably be a response of some sort, either positively or negatively. Feminism is carried too far. Men have had enough of it. And there will be movements like MGTOW, the Red Pill, and other similar ones. That is the reaction to the way things are done. Women will react in a specific way if we can perform certain things. Therefore, it is evident that MGTOW needs a reaction. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers.